What's going on YouTube, GeoSnore here. Today we're discussing whether iOS 26 will be the final nail in jailbreaking's coffin and whether we're going to see a jailbreak for iOS 18 before iOS 26 gets released. So buckle up, this is going to be an interesting discussion. Now, many of you are probably aware by now that iOS 26 is in developer beta 2 and while it's still early in the development lifecycle, it's still already out and many people have installed it. Why that is indeed an issue? Well, the last real jailbreak for iOS was dopamine and dopamine supports iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1. Now if you go here on iDeviceCentral.com on jailbreak tool you can see that it paints quite a bleak picture. The iOS 26 beta is definitely not jailbreakable sure but neither is iOS 18.5 neither is iOS 18.4 or iOS 18.0 and everything in between and of course iOS 17.0 and newer they do have some tools like Misaka X and Nugget and there is of course Troll Store for iOS 17.0, but really not jailbreak in sight. iOS 16.7, not jailbreakable either, so on and so forth. So yes, there hasn't been a real jailbreak in many, many, many iOS versions. And with iOS 26, it looks like even Pelrin on older devices is coming to an end. Because as you probably know, with iOS 26, Apple dropped the support for the last iPad that supported both iOS 18 and the Checkmate exploit, which means that there are now no devices devices left that support both Pelrin and iOS 26, which is unfortunate because it means that we can no longer jailbreak with Pelrin any device after iOS 26 gets released. So in a way, it already killed jailbreaking, at least this jailbreak over here. Now, of course, the Checkmate exploit was already outdated and only for older devices, but even for newer devices with jailbreaks like Dopamine and, you know, other such things like Fugu 15, Fugu 14, we don't really see those anymore more that much. That's because we don't really have that many developers anymore who are interested in releasing this stuff to the public. A lot of these things are very hard to find these days and jailbreaking iOS has become very demanding to the point that it doesn't make sense for jailbreak developers to try to release these exploits anymore because at first they can make a lot of money selling these exploits because there is a market for them. They can report it to Apple and maybe even obtain a bug bounty from Apple. So why release them to the general public? And they just don't care anymore about releasing them in the community because the jailbreak community has shrunk enough. Now, of course, Apple has obtained a lot of the uh, developers in the community for themselves. They would essentially employ them or pay to silence them in a way or another through NDAs and security research and whatever. And at this point, many of the security researchers that have contributed to great jailbreaks back in the day are now part of Apple. They are now working full time at Apple in the security team. So so it's no wonder why we don't get jailbreaks like this anymore because most of these security researchers like Opa334, Linus Hansi, Tim Starr and you know others who have developed jailbreaks in the past have been the backbone of the jailbreak community are now either working full time for various security companies or they straight up work for Apple. They don't really get to release jailbreaks anymore. And the biggest problem of all is that people keep on updating. Like how many people are already on iOS 26 developer beta even though it's a piece of trash like it's the worst beta of an iOS that ever has been. But still people have updated to it because it has the novelty factor, it has the new and shiny and relatively broken interface. So people keep on updating for it and while you update for it, you lose the last chance to ever jailbreak your device because you're jumping from say iOS 18 or you're jumping from iOS 17 because you say, well, I waited enough. I might just jump to the newest version because the jailbreak is not coming anyway. But at that point you made a jump and there's no coming back. You can downgrade sure but you can only downgrade to iOS 18.5 which is probably going to be jailbreakable in about three years in a combination with the fact that we don't quite get exploits anymore for those jailbreaks and Apple is doing its best to integrate many of the jailbreak features in iOS so many tweaks have become part of bare iOS these days so there's no point and especially on the newer devices like the iPhone 16e, iPhone 16 Pro, the iPhone 15, 14, these devices have barely seen a jailbreak or no jailbreak at all. There hasn't been a jailbreak for iOS 16 since its launch. I don't think iPhone 15 was jailbroken that much either. I think Dopamine supports it, but don't quote me on that. However, 
it is impossible to jailbreak these these days without proper exploits they require pac bypasses they require kernel exploits they require a lot of exploits that you just didn't need back on the iphone 7 back on the iphone 6 5s era so people are impatient developers are no more because they either work for security companies or they work for apple and there really is no demand for a jailbreak these days when you have most of the tweaks already integrated in ios vista i mean ios 26. another massive problem that occurs because jailbreaking has become so rare is the prevalence of fake jailbreaks like these over here there are entire websites that rank pretty well in google actually in search that pretend to have ios 18 jailbreaks 18.2.1 18.3 with various tools that are not actually real like redensa over here and there is even this one over here which is a straight copy of neko jb it's a jailbreak it's a real jailbreak but for older devices and definitely not for ios 8 but they copied the website quite a lot and this one ranks in google as well people not knowing any better come to this kind of websites get scammed with various malware or surveys or you know various other things like adware and then they leave disillusioned and of course thinking that the jailbreak community is indeed a scam so that contributes a lot to the fact that jailbreaking is not as popular take this for example it says cdia download freely and it's a fake jailbreak that's been around for like five seven Seven years by now I think they make a lot of money from Google Ads because this website ranks pretty well in Google however you can see that they essentially plug fake jailbreaks for iOS 18 for iOS 17 I think I even saw iOS 26 jailbreak in here at some point but you can see how they spam the devices since it supports iPhone 16 and it has Cydia while Cydia has been broken since iOS 15 it's websites like these including this one that says it's pelrain.com so they took the Pelrain jailbreak and they bastardized it in a way that it appears to be installable online. Which if you know anything about jailbreaking, if you know how Pelrain works, that is based on a USB exploit that requires the device to be plugged into the computer, you realize how tragic it sounds if you read this guide and it tells you that you should access this website from your Safari browser and you can jailbreak with a jailbreak based on a USB exploit from the browser. Yes, that's how far they go. And really people are falling for it because it looks legitimate kind of looks like it would work because they mix in some steps that look legit creating a, an ipsw or trying to make a custom firmware or installing cdr running this command which kind of looks like the command you use for pelrain so it's unfortunate but these do pass for many people as being legitimate and then they try it and they get malware or adware and again they leave disillusioned from the community thinking it's a scam they even spread out to github there are fake jailbreaks on github as you can see from here that's essentially why you don't get a jailbreak these days while it's not going to be the end of jailbreaking with ios 26 and i'm sure people will still get to release them at some point the wait times you have seen them it's been two years without a proper jailbreak and it's counting but definitely take it with a grain of salt because developers have a tendency to surprise us and release something out of the blue so if you're still interested in the jailbreak community if you're still interested in jailbreaking your device it's still Still the best move to just stay and don't update your device that gives you the best chance anyway this video was brought to you by flex store and speaking of jailbreaks you can get no computer jailbreak tools without any other signing tool directly from flex store so you can get uncover dopamine you can get trollbox you can get taurine you can also get tools like playing files and so on so if you're still jailbreaking your device if you still have a compatible ios version but you don't want to mess with a computer you can definitely try these over here so yeah thank you for watching i am geosnow till next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out